Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome back to another review and today I'm taking a look at the High Grade Demi Trainer. Once again, this is from The Witch from Mercury and this was also released on the exact same day. This is the expansion part set also for the Demi Trainer. And of course, this video right here wouldn't have been possible without those absolutely awesome people over at Hobby Link Japan. The Demi Trainer costing around $10 and the expansion set costing around the 7 mark, give or take. And as usual, the usual complex shortage rule does apply right now. That is, whenever something is announced, make sure to get your pre-orders in right away because these things go out of stock very, very quickly. Anyway, let's check them out. And there we go, there is the Demi Trainer. So this is straight built, except I will mention there is one little bit of a mod. And that is something extremely simple that you can do yourself. So as you can see there, we've got a little bit of shiny behind the eyes in this. And that is, we've got a clear part for the eye sensor inside of this box. And what I did was, I just cut a little bit of the excess foil sticker, that is the silvered part, stuck it in underneath this because I noticed that it was just going over a flat segment. So it actually reflects the light back out. The Gundam Age kits, at least the Master Grade Gundam Age kits used to do this. And it always looked so, so good. So I decided to give it a go on this particular kit right here, and it does really make that sensor shine. So if you wanted to reflect more light than it already does, you can do that, and it doesn't require anything additional besides what's in the box. Let's get it spinning. So anyway, there is the full 360 spin of the high-grade Demi Trainer. Now, for the most part, this is identical to what we would have seen with the Choo Choo's Demi Trainer last month. This basically takes all the boxes for a grunt kit. It's super simple to build. You can whack them out in no time. If you actually buy the sold separately weapons kit, it means you can actually change them up a little bit with their weapons loadout. So it is a very nice grunt kit. Super quick build, like I mentioned. I will mention though, there are some aspects on this, like some mold lines and nubs that might require a little bit more time cleaning up. But besides that, easy to build, nice and solid, looks great. And if you love the Demi Trainer, I would say grab a couple. They're also about $10 too, which is a good price point for an army builder kit. As for inside this box though, there is only one real option when it comes to the build, and that is the choice of sticker to use on the cockpit. So the cockpit on this can be any of these colors right here, which is red, blue, purple, yellow, and pink. I went with the red just because it was, well, it's what's on the box and it matches with the green very, very nicely, but you can choose whichever one that you like. Underneath that, of course, there is just plastic as we would have seen with the Choo Choo's Demi Trainer. So you can, uh, well, opt not to have that there too. It's the same color as the plastic that's covered up. So that is a slightly darker light green up top and a super light green down below. But once again, everything we would have seen here is here. The really cool, unique, Hands, the very blocky, simple build. And overall, what can I say? It's a simple, solid, awesome little kit. Let's check out what a, whoa. First, the comparison. So anyway, now onto the size comparison and there is the Demi Trainer right here beside Choo Choo's Demi Trainer. So as you can see, they are a completely different color and that is ignoring the stickers on the chest because there is no stickers on the chest of the Choo Choo's version. So the Choo Choo's version is a very yellowy green color and even the lighter color is definitely not as green as what we see on the standard version. So if you wanted to mix and match parts, for the most part, that isn't going to happen. Especially because even the inner frame grays of the regular Demi Trainer are in a brownish color in Choo Choo's variant. So that does mean there is a lot of limitations with the mixing and matching here. So that is a little bit disappointing to a degree. However, I assume it's meant to stand out a lot. Grab yourself a whole bunch of regular Demi Trainers and you can customize those instead. However, it does mean if you wanted to steal something like the shoulder shield up here for on this one right here, it may not really work out. The color might match a little bit, but not in a perfect kind of seamless sort of way. And I'm just wondering, will we get more attachments for the Demi Trainers in future? Because there's nothing for those C-clip points up on the shoulders in the box we're going to take a look at today. So now jumping into the accessories, and here's everything that comes inside of the box with the Demi Trainer. So we've got a beam gun, a shield, we've got a saber stick as well as a little adapter for that, as well as a staff antenna. So when it does come to the hands in here, this is all that we have. Unlike Choo Choo's Demi Trainer, this does not come with some extra hands. So there is the back, there is the side, these are holding on hands, but as you can see, they're a very unique, almost Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle style hands. So if you do want some extra hands for using with your Demi Trainer, you will need the sold separately option pack. This is the first of the weapons we have in here, and I shit you not, this almost looks like a piece of runner. There's not really much to it at all. This right here is the saber stick. Attaching it into the hand is simply just pop it on in like so, simple as. There really isn't much to be said about this at all. It is just a stick. In the instructions, it says a portable weapon in the shape of a rod. Easy to handle, the simple to use weapon is well suited to anti-mobile suit combat training. It can be mounted on the waist or the backpack. 
So basically to attach it onto the waist or the backpack, we do have an included adapter. I'm just gonna go with the backpack right here. The adapter just pokes on in there just like that. And then just attaching the rod segment or whatever it's called, saber stick into the attachment slot is just as simple as popping it in just like so and it kind of locks in at the end. This thing almost looks like a Lego weapon, it's so basic. The next weapon we have in here is the beam gun. This is just made out of two segments attached together, quite the simple little weapon. We've got a sticker for the scythe section right there and a little connection point for attaching it into the forearm right there. And speaking of attaching it into the forearm, you just rotate this segment so that it's lined up nicely with the hand like this because it attaches into both the hand and the forearm at the same time. And in order to attach it into said forearm, it's very simple. It just slides on into the hand like this, then locks into the forearm, and there you go. Ready for a little bit of pew pew pew. So according to the instructions about this right here, this is a small portable firearm. All mobile suit firearms at the school are set to low energy output, and this weapon's magazine complies with school standards. So I'll also admit, I absolutely love this pose. This is what it's in in the manual. And I also realized this is from another particular kit, this particular pose. It's in the, uh, I'm not sure if it's the gym or the Gundam ground type from 8th MS team. One of those has this exact same pose in the manual for that particular mobile suit. And I love it. It just works so well. That kind of running pose down one foot, aiming pose. This just looks incredible. And this has a nice center of balance most of the time. It was holding up until I touched it. So the next piece of equipment we have in here is the shield. This is quite simple. It's one big greeny piece with a nice big gray armored piece on the front. Flipping around to the other section, or should I say the other side, and we do have a little handle here which can move on a pivot. So attaching this onto the Demi Trainer's arm is pretty much the same as what we saw with the beam gun. So you just pop this into the hand like so, and we do have a peg on the underside which attaches into the forearm just like so for a very, very solid connection. So the last piece of equipment we have in here is the staff antenna, which just plugs into the top of the head. What it says in the instructions about this right here is, an optional piece of equipment used during duels, where the condition for victory is to snap off an opponent's antenna. So yeah, it's just there to be snapped off. That is its only purpose. So now moving on to the articulation. I'm not actually gonna do it this time, because we've done it already. If you want to see the articulation on this kit, then go check out the review of Choo Choo's Demi Trainer right here, because these are exactly the same. This is way more intricate than it actually lets on. It's got a very limited ankle, which is probably the only real down point, but it's got this cool locking mechanism, which allows the whole waist section here to complement the ab crunch. It just is a really nice posing experience. For something so simple, it really, really does go hard. Anyway, let's check out the expansion parts. So this right here, the expansion part set for Demi Trainer is a very simple little kit. We do get two runners inside of this. Now we'll mention one of the runners in here is the one that came with Choo Choo's Demi Trainer. So that does mean everything that was in the Choo Choo's Demi Trainer is in here besides the physical aspects of the mobile suit like the boosters on the legs, the shield on the shoulder, etc. But we do have the entire big massive gun as well as the alternate hands. We do have a second runner in here then which is unique to this kit right here which adds the particular Daedalus weapon set and I guess let's check them out once they're complete which is now because I have them complete. So once you get everything finally built this is what you get inside of the box. So you get the same large beam rifle we would have got with Choo Choo's Demi Trainer and then we've got the Daedalus weapons that are in here which is a modular system of weapons. This is the main body just built as it says in the manual it can be changed but we do have a bunch of parts for using with it in a multitude of different ways. We also have a big old knife in here and a pair of hands. Once again, these are the same hands we would have seen with Choo Choo's with the gray back instead of the color accurate back. And well, let's get checking them out. So first off in here, we've got the alternate hands. These are simple. You just pop off the hands just like so and pop on the alternate ones just like this. So as you can see, the backs of those are not color accurate, but they are very nicely shaped. And just like we would have seen in the Choo Choo's Demi Trainer review, if you want to, you can just swap over these green backs right here with those ones right there and then they're color accurate. Next up in here, we've got a knife. It's just pretty much a standard knife. It slots into the hand very simply, slides on in like so. And as you can see, this isn't very sharp or pointed in any kind of way. Very basic for a knife. And that's probably just so Bandai can put ages eight and up on the side of the box. Basic, looks like it's more for buttering as opposed to stabbing. Next up in here, we get the large beam rifle. Now this is the one we get in this box. 
And if you want to just compare it to the one that we got in Choo Choo's, it's exactly the same, just a more pure gray as opposed to this kind of brownish gray. Also, there is no wire included, so it does say in the manual, this little piece right here is optional, so you can just pluck that out because there is no wire, but otherwise identical. So this attaches on in the same S Gundam kind of way that we would have seen with Choo Choo's Demi Trainer, just right on into the crotch like so. We've got an arm on this to get it posed up, tons of articulation to get it exactly the way that you want it, and this is a pretty cool weapon. But I've looked at it before, so I'm not looking at it again. Well, not in the traditional exactly the same sort of sense, but this right here is modular, just like the other weapons that are in here. So I'll be curious as to how this can attach onto those in what sort of way it's compatible with the other parts. So let's strip to bits and get ready to test with the other things. And the other things being this right here and its associated parts known as the multi-tool system that is the Daedalus. So this once again is a multiple modular kind of system in a 30 minute missions kind of way. Now this right here is just the way it says to build it in the manual. So we'll just try it out like this first. It pops on into the hand like so. It's got another handle up front which something tells me it won't be able to reach but we can just pop it into the other arm like so. So what we've got here is pretty much a big, lengthy Gatling style weapon. Now, like I said, this is modular, so it does mean you can just pop this off like so, pop this bit off like so. This part has a three millimeter connection here, three millimeter hole here, so you can kind of guess the way these things kind of go together, which means you can actually shorten it down like so to a more basic, shorter version. So yeah, everything in here is modular. That means you can just pop off the part that I did have on the end here and then start sticking on the alternate parts. We've got a tiny one I can only assume is a kind of Gatling sort of cannon with a quad end right here like so. We've also got a buzz saw as well as a drill in here because it also has some tools as well as weapons. And just out of curiosity, because it did take apart that large beam rifle, you can actually stick the end of that into this weapon system too, which is pretty cool. If that was not cool enough, you can actually take the, the elements that made up that big cannon we would have seen with Choo Choo's that comes inside of this box, whip the top off of it like so, and you can attach on the Gatling end. Not just that, this kit actually answers one of the questions I had in the Choo Choo's video, which was, what is that slot on the underside of this particular cannon? So you can actually take this element here, which was the central aspect of the Daedalus when I had it first built, you can stick that on where the scope was, and that becomes a big ammo drum. We've got an ammo belt in here, which clips up from underneath, and then when you throw that Gatling on the end like so, we've got an absolutely massive crotch-mounted Gatling gun, and you can stick any end you want on this. You can stick on some of the tools if you want to. Hell, you can even take the large beam rifle part and stick it into the extra slot we have up front to have a multi-launcher like this, which is kind of similar to what we would have seen with the Cheese Master or whatever way back when, or the amazing Red Warrior. There's so many choices with this kit, which is pretty cool. Lastly then, if you just take this little quad launcher looking thing again, pull out the little adapter in here that allows it to attach onto the Daedalus, put in this ball joint attachment instead, you can pop this on as a hand, gun tank style. Just like you would have seen in the anime, you can do that. All we need now is that cool hanger for displaying all of this stuff in that, once again, we would have seen in the anime. Lastly, then, we've got this real Lego looking piece right here, which just attaches onto whatever place you want. Just a hook, really Lego y looking right there. And this is for attaching onto pretty much whatever you want. In the manual, it shows the knife. So attaching it onto the knife. And you can attach it onto the arm like some kind of stabby stabby bayonet. Anyway, that right there is it for the review. So yeah, when it came to Choo Choo's Demi Trainer, I gave it Platinum Tier as a really well-rounded grunt with a lot going on inside of the box. Now this is a stripped down version, it doesn't have the same amount of armored parts, unique aspects, the nice sliding booster gimmicks on the side of the legs and all of that sort of stuff. It also comes with a basic accessory set. So this to me is good, really good. So that makes it gold tier, better than I would expect from high grade in general. There's a lot going on in here. When it comes to the accessories pack, I'm not gonna rate that because it is just an accessories pack, but I really do feel it is quintessential for having with this kit. Or if you bought two or three of these, it would be cool to outfit them all differently. So yeah, once again, this video right here would not have been possible without those awesome people over at Hobby Link Japan. Link is down there in the description. These are not currently in stock as you'd expect with currently out Gumpla, but keep an eye out for future stock and future pre-orders. Anyway, as always, thank you so, so much for watching. Make sure to come back for more Gumpla reviews, and I'll see you next time. 
As always, this video and every video would not be possible without each and every one of you guys who watches my videos. And special thanks to those of you who are supporting me over on Patreon and on the channel members, including Caleb Engelhart, Global Frequency Studios, Go Little Rockstar, Gunply UK Limited, Joe, Kill Me Inc, Lawrence Seahack, Orgy59061, and Van Fawn.